The government shutdown became personal at the Portsmouth Naval Shipyard on Monday. Some 2,300 of the 5,600 civilian employees furloughed. I mean, I have bills to pay and I showed up for work and got told to go home till further notice. The president of the Metal Trades Council among them. The workers were pretty solemn. They were walking around just not really, you know, lighthearted and it was just, you know, a lot of head to the ground and, and going out, going back to their uh, car and, and going home. The buzz all day about the Senate vote just after noon to reopen government. Well, I mean, that would be awesome. Hopefully they sign everything and make everything good. I think it's a bunch of BS. Like, it's happened before. It did, five years ago. Paul O'Connor was the Metal Trades president at the time. He's now in D.C. helping government employees at four shipyards. He calls it no way to run a country. We're going to be right back here on February 8th doing the same thing. Our men and women will be wondering if they have a job tomorrow, if they're going to get paid tomorrow. Some of those we spoke with say the impact isn't just on the human lives. It could potentially be on the safety of our country. We've got you know, submarines in the dry dock that we need to fix to get back to the, to the fleet. And uh, this just puts dampers on that. Shipyard officials say the impact on the shutdown is not known at this time. Workers unsure if they'll be back to work tomorrow or if they could face furlough again in a few weeks. It's uncertain. That's, that's the biggest thing is being, everything's so up in the air. At the Portsmouth Naval Shipyard, Jennifer Crompton, WMUR News 9.